Hey everyone, welcome to the Lux Fifth Wheels channel. My name is Kristen. I'm a factory direct representative for Lux Fifth Wheels. We are standing outside of a 48 FB toy hauler. I want to take a look at the paint here. It is a two color paint. This is our standard paint mask. You'd be able to choose any automotive color for the exterior here. It's going to be three coats of clear wet sand cotton buff. On the 48FB, you can see the Gen Y hitch pin. This co does come standard on this coach. It has a gross vehicle weight of 25,999. That Gen Y hitch pin will cut out a lot of that jerking back and forth motion, saves on fuel costs, and it wears your tires a little bit more evenly as well. And here you can see that they added the generator. You can do a diesel or a gas generator if you wish. Standard is gonna be four six volt AGM batteries. If you prefer lithium, we can definitely do that for you as well. Looking over here at your slide room, your upper deck slide rooms are gonna be a cable slide. Those are the Norco slides. This right here is gonna be your uh, slide sweeps just to make sure that the, um, the bulb seals and everything go the correct way. You can see on our slide rooms here, they have a lot thicker fascia than some of those other ones out there. And then looking overall down the coach, you can see that there's no screws that are exposed to the elements. Everything is gonna be hidden behind this belt rail here. So over here, I'm gonna show you first the equalizer leveling system. It's very easy to work. It has an all auto leveling retraction system on here and it can also, it's just push of the button and all of your jacks will go down and auto level for you. You can see the equalizer leveling down here. It's much beefier than some of those other ones out there. So when you're inside your coach, you're not gonna have that back and forth motion when, when you guys are up and walking around. You have a 40 pound propane tank. You're gonna have one on either side of the coach. This coach is optioned with the camera system, so it does have four cameras, one on each side, one above the front door, and then one in the exterior as well. Large pass-through storage, 2,000 watt inverter, 75 amp converter. You'll have service bays on either side, so you can access your uh, fresh water right here. I'm sorry, not your fresh water, your clear source water filtration system. You can also uh, access your wet bay here. You have an outdoor shower. You have external solar hookups, satellite hookups, all your low point drains are right there as well for you. This one does have the Arctic package on it, so all the text lines will be insulated. It's going to beef your furnaces up to 230,000 BTUs. And then right here you can see the Truma on-demand uh, tankless hot water heater, which is going to be standard on all the toy haulers as well. Coming over here, we have our Cooper tires. They are 17 and a half inch H-rated tires. They are gonna be 16 ply tires. All of our suspension is gonna be independent suspension. The toy haulers do come standard with Dexter independent suspension, or you can upgrade to the More Ride independent, or you can go even further and get that Kelderman Air Ride suspension as well. Here you have the power cord reel. If you option for that, it's gonna be a 30 foot power cord reel. All the toy haulers come with the um, fuel station at the rear. You're gonna have a 20 gallon and a 40 gallon. And then you'll also have the fuel pump here so that you can exchange from the 40 gallon to your 20 gallon gen tank if you'd like. And if you do the diesel gen, gen tank, we can make that one a diesel fuel tank as well. So at the back of the toy hauler here is the ramp door. It's gonna be an electric lock ramp door. It does come down very easy. You can just, two fingers will easily bring it up or down. Um, when it's in the patio position, it is a 1500 pound ramp rating. When it's down into the ramp position, it's 5,000 pounds. You can also do on the toy hauler, the side patio as well. And that's where your outdoor entertainment center would be. If you don't have it, that's what this would look like here. Dual pane frameless windows. All metal fender skirting, so no plastic. Again, this belt rail here gives it a nice finish so you're not looking at all those screws while you're going down the road and then, you know, they're also not exposed to the elements. You got an extra long grab bar here for when you do go inside of your coach. You got all the LED lighting that's underneath the awnings as well. They did the solid step above entry stairs which go right up into the door there. You can also do the roll stairs which are standard on our coaches. All of the microwaves are going to be vented outside, dryers are vented outside, you're going to have access to the back of your fridge for easy winterization and maintenance. I will take you inside the coach and show you around our 48. Here we are in the garage of the 48 FB. This garage right here is a 16-4 and that is from the vapor door to the rear ramp door. Your, your garage is going to come standard with the Happy Jack bunk system which is the bed on the top and then you have the two sofas on the bottom that have a table that come between and you can also lay them flat so that they can be a bed as well. You raise them all the way up or bring them down and you can use the pins to hold the bed all the way up and just bring your sofas down. You can see in this coach here they did the diamond flooring. You can also do the tile all the way back should you choose you want to make it into an office or an extra spare bedroom instead of a garage. 
They did the wall board here, so or you could also add soft touch walls if you'd like. In the garage, you're going to have the blackout shades for all of your windows. Helps with some privacy. And then over here, in this model in particular, they did a half bath, which is an option. You can do that if you'd like, or full bath. They went ahead and did the washer and dryer hookups on the back here, as you can see. They did the TV back here. You can also just do TV prep. Plenty of overhead storage. You will have your um, furnaces are ducted back here, so you'll have heat. They did option to have an AC in here as well. Here you can see that they have the loft. It's 55 inches deep, so it's a really nice size. So if you have a kiddo that wants to use that as a, a bedroom space, or if you want to shorten it, make it not as deep, and it's, it's very good for storage and for those seasonal items that you're not using all the time. All the toy haulers will come standard with the entertainment center here. So you'll have your speaker system, your breaker box will be below in this model here. And then looking around here, you have your half bath, which is not too, not too bad. It's still a pretty nice, decent size. And like I was saying, you could also do a full bath should you um, need to do that. Or you could also rotate it so that it comes along this wall here and then you get maximum length. So we'll go ahead and step inside. All right, so here we are in the kitchen of the 48 FB. And you can see here, it's, it's got quite a bit of counter space still. You can add this flip up countertop to give you a little bit more space if you'd like. You'll have your wireless charger in your countertop. They did the 24 inch oven. You could do a 30 inch if you'd like. You can do the induction cooktop. This is a convection microwave here to 30 inch. And again, it is gonna be vented outside. All of our cabinet doors are going to be solid maple hardwood. They are soft closed, and so are our cabinet uh, drawers as well. I'll show you that real quick. So here you can see everything is going to be dovetail, soft close. Hinges are on the bottom for added structure. They put a nice little silverware drawer tray in here as well. Coming over this way, you have your... You can do a single sink, you can do double sinks, you can do composite, stainless steel, so many different options when it comes to that. Uh, you can do a dishwasher in this area if you would like. And a lot of people ask me what this is, what this remote goes to. This is going to be your fantastic fan, which you'll have one in the kitchen and you'll have one in the bathroom and then you'll have one in the loft as well. That's going to be standard. Speaking of the loft, you can do the entrance from this side, the living room side, or from the garage side. You can choose to close it off if you'd like and do full cabinets above. Got a nice residential refrigerator. You could do the ice in the water in the door if you'd like, or you can, or the ice maker will just be in here. Standard is going to be the booth setup, or you can do the table and chairs if you would like. You're going to have storage below as well. This is going to be um, an extruded polyurethane is the material. Um, everything's going to be Amish handcrafted. Taking a look at the cabinets real quick, you can see that it's the gray shaker. So it's a flat panel. We have four different color woods that you can use, or you can do the raised panels as well. Got the nice L-shaped sofa here. This right here actually is like a lazy lounger. So if you need some more room, kiddos want to lounge, they can do so like that. There's also storage below as well. So there's storage in here. This will actually slide into itself so that the, both the slide rooms can come in when you go to leave for your next travel destination. Nice size TV here. It is on a swivel mount. LG 4K smart TV, sound bar as well. You got a um, 5000 BTU fireplace below. Plenty of storage again. Coming into the master bedroom here, you have the king size bed. It does have storage underneath as well. You can option to have the queen size bed and then you'll get larger nightstands. You can close off the above overhead storage there if you'd like for more, more added storage. Coming over here, you have the nice walk-in style closet. You can do your washer and dryer up here if you would like on opposing sides, or you can have us put the dressers on opposing sides, or like they did, they just did the shoe rack. But you'll also have hanging storage all the way across. Really nice barn doors, gives it a nice finish in the bedroom. And you can see that they added the vanity slide here. When you do the vanity slide, it's gonna give you a little bit more walk space here. Gives you the 43 inch LG TV. You're gonna have the cabinets, um, have the shelves in them, or you can do drawers if you'd like. Barn doors for your bedroom. And just coming back out that way, this way here, you got a half bath. 
They have the residential paneled shower with the wood teak seat. All of our toilets are porcelain. You have the nice skylight above that gives you a little bit more room. All right. Well, that is it. Thank you for coming along with me and taking a tour of the 48FB.